Hello, Lomzi team. Welcome to my channel, Lomzi Sews. Hope you have been finding my sewing tutorials easy and simple to make. Please, if you don't, leave a comment and I will attend to it. To you, my newbies, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button because I upload sewing tutorials and DIY every week. Today, we are going to learn how to make this gorgeous pencil skirt. In my previous video, I made a skirt pattern. So try and watch the video to follow this tutorial. And the skirt pattern will also be used in most of my skirts design so make sure to watch the skirts pattern the link will be in the description section so for this skirt we'll be using a length 25 inches because we want the pencil dress to be below the knee so from this line here we are going to be taking that's where we are going to be taking our measurement not from the line of the shaping on the skirt if you watch the last video i made on this skirt pattern you will see what i'm talking about so you take it from this place all your measurements down the way so i'm going to be taking down the measurement of the skirt we are using 25 inches and we are going to be adding 2 inches for hemming and I have added that like so and that's why we got 27 inches and so the next thing you are going to be doing is that you are going to be getting the length of your shape where you want the pencil skirt to start shaping from so mostly for all the uh, measure all the sizes you, you have to come down 18 inches that's where you're going to be shaping. That's where your knee and is standard measurement. So that's where we're going to be using for our shaping. And what you're going to be doing is that you're going to be taking in one inch shaping here. And you're going to be dropping down to the, to the length. You drop it down to one inch. You're going to be connecting this to this. And you're going to be connecting this here. So you go ahead and use your hip curve to connect this to this and connect it straight this way. So I'm going to be doing that now. So I'm going to be connecting this and going all the way straight here. Like so. Yes, so you're going to be doing that for the back also. Coming down 18 inches and going in one inch. Drop it down. And connect it like so and so for a further shaping of the skirt you want it really, really we are going to be dropping again 18 inches and you are going to be taking in 1 inch like so you connect it Like so, and you know, for your heat, for your pencil skirt, you need to have an a vent, a skirt vent. So we are going to be marking that out like so. From here to your to your skirt vent, you add two inches and half inch for. 
two and a half inches you take that down for your skirt vents and so you go ahead and cut this out but before you go ahead to cut this out remember that we have not added any seam allowance so you're going to be adding half inch seam allowance to all these places add two half inch seam allowance and you add half inch seam allowance to your zip for your zip i like to add half inch for my zip because it's actually a waste adding and making your skirt bulky by adding one inch allowance for your zipper so i'm going to be adding half inch this way i'm going to be coming in that way like so here half inch go that way and connect it so when you go ahead and do that you do that same on the on the front side so I'll go ahead and cut out this. So this is the front panel that we're using. And we're going to be cutting this out now. We're going to be cutting this out for the pencil skirt. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to be marking my darts on the back side this is the back side of this fabric I left this so that you will see the back of the fabric so we are going to be marking our darts pin so that it will be easy for you to cut it will be easy for you to cut your material will not be moving so after cutting so the next thing you'll be doing is you're going to be cutting your lining out from this. I don't like to use full lining for my skirt. So I'm going to be stopping my lining where the, the, slip would, the slit will be. So for this one, we're not going to be making it with lining, with full lining. I'm not turning with the full lining so we are going to be taking nine and a half inches out we are taking away nine and a half inches and, um, and having the length of the lining here so I'm going to be cutting that out now and I'm going to be cutting the front out too Going to be cutting that out. Remember to also trace your dart and your lining also. Remember to also trace your lining on your dart. So the next thing you're going to do immediately after cutting your skirt is for you to join you add your zipper or invisible zipper after adding your invisible zipper then you go ahead and make your skirt vents and so i'm going to be dropping the link in the description button in the description box how to make invisible zip and also how to make your skirt vent for pencil skirts 
so that's the first very first thing you're going to be doing then the next thing you're going to be doing is that you're going to be closing all the darts you close all the darts both on the front panel and the back panel close that also for the lining and the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be joining front and back together the front panel and the back panel so for this this is the front and this is the back so what your first thing you're going to be doing is that you're going to be joining the side seam front sides facing together you join the side seam and also do that for the other side you join the side seam so i'm going to be doing that now and show i will do that now and show you so by the time you join it you will have something like this with your skirt vents already there you're going to be having something like this and also you do the same thing to your lining you close your darts and join the side seam so i'm going to be doing that now to show you the next thing to do so as you can see i have i have joined the side i've joined this i've also joined the lining as you can see, I've also attached the zipper, the invisible zipper, as you, you see how neat it is. So you make sure you watch my video on how to insert an invisible zip. And also, I have done the skirt vent, as you can see. So you go ahead and do all that. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to attach your lining. So you're going to be attaching this lining here right side facing together you attach the lining to this place and sew it up to that place so you're going to be doing that on the two side and when you're done you're going to be closing the lower parts so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and show you so as you can see we have joined this you can see how it's looking this is the back that's how it's going to be looking. So the next thing you will do is to hem it. You go ahead and hem your... Remember we added two inches of hemming allowance. So you go ahead and take that in. And then you now add your band. You're going to be adding your band to this. You sew it this way, you turn it, and sew it that way. Let me show you again. You're going to go ahead, put this this way, sew it all the way around, and then hold this this way, and sew it here and then continue with your sewing that way you sew it all the way around i'll do that and show you so i have added this i've also added my label and added the size size 10 so the next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to be closing it this way you're going to be closing it here and you're going to be sewing this way so I'm going to be doing that now close it here run here so let me do that that's just now I'll show you so I have done this side and done this side and left here i ran all the way to this place closed it close this this is for you to for the hook that way so i left somewhere like this so what i'm going to be doing next is go ahead place it like so 
and close it up and close it up and go ahead and give it a good press and so guys our skirt is ready the next to be uploading will be a pencil wrap dress infinity wrap dress i'm going to be uploading that next so make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so that you'll be able to see my next post so that's it guys thank you